Hey, Alex, a uh, lawyer and a financial advisor walk into a bar. Oh, and then what happens, Dave? Well, the question comes up around, you know, the importance of taking time off, like having a break. Holidays? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not a word I'm familiar with. I'm sorry. <laughs> We don't do that anymore post-COVID. There's no oh, more breaks. Yeah, There's no yeah, holidays. Yeah. We just work 24 hours a day from home. Yeah, don't we? yeah, 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 right. That's why, it's, that's why it's meant to be, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, and that's, I mean, the thing that really strikes me is that about holidays and is that we're in like a different dynamic now. It's like you, 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 you might be at home all the time or you might be yep. at home more, but the time that you're working, you're actually working longer hours but at home. So you sort of, and you might be doing the washing at like 10 o'clock in the morning while you're having a coffee break, you know what I mean? So yep. like work and not work have just become one. I, I, for a while, you know, wasn't feeling like I was, um, Working from home, I felt like I was living at work. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, look, I agree with you, and I think that's part of this real mix of this change of yeah. that demarcation between, you know, personal time and and work time. And I think that's been evolving for for you know the last probably fifteen or twenty years. How it yeah. just gets so immersed and blended, yeah, in together. But I think one of the th- important things around taking the time off or booking in those holidays is. Yeah. You actually need a break. Like it's, yeah. there's a lot of research that puts it out there that having that capacity to try and switch off, um, yeah. you know, is a really good thing because you need to refresh yourself. Because I do yeah. think, especially in the last couple of years, there's been huge amounts of fatigue, physical and mental fatigue. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like definitely. it's just a grind. And because you're there, I'll just do it. And mm. People get yeah. flatter and flatter. And, and you yeah. know, there's no doubt about it. Video conferencing fatigue is just brutal. Yeah. And we're, we're in a position where, I don't know, if, if for most businesses, certainly for our business, you know, for a long period, nobody's taken much leave. Like, yep. so leave balances are up. Um, and we're actually facing now, I'm starting to get a bit nervous because I say, well, hang on, everyone needs holidays. And that, that's important. I totally acknowledge that. But I'm going, hang on, if they all take holidays at the same time and suddenly they're taking a month I might off, have to do some work. <laughs> I might have to do some work. That'd be outrageous. I didn't hire people so I could do work. Um, but they might all take long periods of leave together. Yeah, or, you know, yeah. they might be overlapping. And, of course, I think it's important to take long periods. You don't just want a day off here and there. Correct. You, know, you, you do need the longer breaks. But if they take them all at the same time or they want to, that it's just a difficult thing to manage and a bit worrying for business owners, you know. But it's that excitement of getting people to think about, and I suppose this is the importance of, of you know, the sort of work that we do is to give people the capacity to be able to take some time off because of the success of their businesses. Yeah. So it comes back to, well, what are you going to do? And is it during school holidays? Is it outside of school holidays? Yeah. Is, it a, is it a, you know, like a four-day break? Sometimes for some people, that enjoyment of taking a Friday and a Monday and getting away for a weekend yeah. is just like a complete switch off. Yeah. For other people, they need, you know, two, three week yeah. kind of. Online. Uh, on, yeah. yeah. And, I, and look, I know over the years, some people have always said, yep, I, we take a, a month off every time we go away and we go overseas and I almost leave my phone. Oh, yeah. So they can't be contacted yeah. to, to, to kind of get away. So I think you've got to kind of find what's important. I mean, I know from, from our own experience, even in the past Christmas of, of 2021 into 22, you know, we pretty much shut for a minimum two weeks. Yeah. And then a few of us took an extra couple of weeks off. Yeah. Um, you know, I do think those sorts of things are becoming more and more prevalent for people to take. They're shutting their business Yeah. for a period of time. And yeah. it's like, well, there's no one here. So yeah, right. no one can kind of, unless it depends on the business you're in. Yeah. But I do think there is that element that it's very easy to keep working yeah, absolutely. When when I started this business, my business, uh, you know, I never took time off and over Christmas, you know, everyone was off except me because I was making sure if anyone had any last minute things they could they had somewhere to go and over time that's become less and less and as we've been more successful as a business, we've been able to actually push back and say no, we're not always available yes, for any, anything anytime, you know what I mean? Yep, because yep. actually, you know, you've got better quality clients who respect that and and, and, and you know, you're obviously not you're not yourself as, as you know, you, 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 you're able to be more assertive about protecting your own mental health yep, yep. <laughs> you know, and that's important. I think um, closing a business or at least having the owner take some time off, so this is as 
as distinct from the the employees taking time off, but the owner take time off is a great test of the business and of, of how how well your systems are managing and how well your team is trained yeah. and all of that, so that you can take time off. If if you can't take you know uh, a couple of weeks off away from your business where your phone's not in your hand, um, then you got to start thinking about well, what you know. Is your business, could your business be improved? You know, are there yep. systems that, you know, it's the ultimate test being away from the business as, as to how your business, how well your business is managed. But I do think there are also, you know, people have, have, have kind of in some respects forgotten the importance of taking that time off. One is just to kind of draw breath a little bit, perhaps yeah. reassess where you've been and what you might be doing as a business owner, yeah. reconnect with family and friends. You know, I think is a really important aspect for a lot of people because it's been a really tough couple of years. Yeah. And so it is that element that says, you know what, we've actually got through this, hopefully. Um, but I do probably want to have a bit of a break and just yeah. kind of smell the roses again. And yeah. You know, yeah. this is so because then the question, if if you were to take a holiday, well, what would you do? Oh well, I'd go to Europe. <laughs> That would be my ultimate holiday. I love Europe and I'd be on a river boat if I could or I'd be, you know, in, in France or in, uh, in Italy eating the pasta. <laughs> oh, so you're on, that, you're on that sort of, you know, the western side of Europe. Not a- oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, I mean, that's the first thing that comes to mind. But I've got to say, I mean, I, I do, you know, because work becomes your hobby. Yep. You know, it work becomes it's sort of all consuming. You do you, sometimes your interests and other. You don't have much else to do. And I've in the past, you know, taken days off to try and recharge. And I've been twiddling my thumbs to the point where I just check my emails to the point where before I know it, I'm working again. Yep. Yep. You know, and I think a lot of a lot of owners fall into that um, that trap that you actually don't have much else in your life to. You know, it, it, it might be a push away from work, but something else needs to be pulling you to. Correct. You correct. Know, so you've got to get that hobby or. Yeah. An interest or a passion, um, yeah, yeah, something um, else that whatever. gives you that a, a reason to say, you know what, I'm out of here. Yeah, I'm going to go do that. You know, going to go drive right. from Yarra Valley, or I'm going to go paint my paint a picture, or or, or yep. you know, yep. whatever it is, race motor doing. cars, or yeah, sailing, yeah. or yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's where you kind of this is where I suppose the importance of taking time off as a topic yeah. for today. It's not just yeah. holidays. Yeah, but it is that ability to kind of give you that chance to get away from the grind of a business because it can yeah. be just brutal sometimes. Yeah, other times it's just fantastic and it, everything floats along and you think, yeah, oh my god, how good is this? This is just fantastic. I mean, yeah. everything, everything seems we seem to be touching is turning to gold. Well, yeah, yeah, it's absolutely. If I was to tell you know someone else what what running a business is like, I'd say that that's it. It's the up and down. Sometimes you just think this is it. Yeah. I've, I've I've cracked the code. Yep, capitalism's really good. Yeah, <laughs> you know whatever it is, and then other times you think you know this is the worst. Everything's my problem. You know. Yep. Uh, uh, so it's a, it's an up and down thing. But it, I mean that's the, 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 the that's life, right? Life's up and down. It's not all Great. good times and all bad times, and and it's the experience of it that's uh, that's exciting. So when you see people come back from holidays inside yep. your business, do you yep. see them coming back with a with a I suppose, a um, renewed energy. Mm. So, so it's been quite a long time since we, anyone's had, you know, we, we did close over Christmas like you, um, but I'm not, that, that's sometimes not quite the same as, you know, when they've gone away on a holiday themselves. Um, and, and in the past I certainly have, and, and not just renewed energy but renewed ideas, sometimes yep. that's that, that separation from work that made them go, you know what, I've been doing my job this way and actually I think, we could, you know, all this stuff that I do could be outsourced or all this, you know, uh, there's a, a, a better way of doing this, you know, and, and have some insights. And that's happened to me. I, I've gone away before and, and just been, you know, away for a month, like, a, you know, overseas for a month and come back really and just the things go to the back of your mind or whatever yep. is the expression, yep. you know, you, yep. you, you mull over them. You don't think about them actively, but then, you, you know, you sort of come to some realisations. Um, and I, I came back and implemented a bunch of stuff basically to get get me less integrally involved in every aspect of the business. Yep. And, you know, and, and in fact, the month I remember, the month that I'm thinking about was the most successful month we'd had in a long time when I wasn't there. <laughs> so what 
does that tell you? <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. I think you need to take holidays more often. Yeah, well, and it shows that I, I mean, I thought I was more important than I was, <laughs> you know, and I, I, I think sometimes I think I'm helping. So you the blow team. wind into places that you probably shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, well, and the, the team has sort of more or less said to me, can you stop med- meddling? You know what I mean? They don't say it like that because they're, they're, you know, they're much they're respectful, very diplomatic, yeah, yeah, diplomatic yeah, yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah. But, um, but, you know, sometimes I think I'm helping and I, I'm, I'm just, you know, rejigging the way they would do it and the way they do it is great. You know, they were involved in whatever it is that, that's happening and so they know how to handle it and I just get involved and, and you know, they, they do what I tell them to do, which is slightly different, but no better, you know, yeah. or maybe worse. And so, you know, I, I think... And this I goes back to the importance yeah. of having some form of... Um, activity or interest that's outside of the business because if you have that level of confidence that the business is functioning without you there you actually don't need to go away for overseas for a month you might like to i don't know restore a car yeah or you might like to you know do some sort of charitable pursuit that gives you a day a week that you like to dedicate your time to i don't know you know, aged care or, or men's yep. shed or what, yeah, whatever yeah. your interest yeah, might yeah. be yeah. Yep. That, that kind of you really enjoy that aspect and it gives you an element of fulfilment. And yeah. I do think that that's a really important thing for a lot of people to kind of get jolted to sometimes. Yeah. That it's like, yep. you know, there is more to life than just the grind, grind work. work. Yeah, well, I've got an example for you. I um, recently really started having lunch with my dad who's, who's 80 uh, you know, on a Wednesday afternoon, we just had lunch together. Yep. And, you know, I'm able to take two or three hours away from the business. That's fine. And, and you know, that's just quality time myself and yep. him. And I'm a big, we're a big family. So we'd often, you don't get just, just the two of you don't spend a lot of time together. There's all sorts of other people there and they've got their kids there and it's all a big, like, you know, a big mayhem. tribe. Yeah. <laughs> it's mayhem. Yeah, that's right. Which is good in its own way. But, you know, and the, the two of us just have lunch together and it's absolutely fantastic. And, you know, the reality of life is that I won't have the chance to be having lunch yep. with him forever. Yep. And so to take that time away from work to do something that's much more important and that, that is it's much more time critical, I can work any time, yep. right, and I yep. can work yep. for the next, you know, 20 or 30 years if I want, um, uh, whereas I won't be able to do that for the same period. And so it's just, you know, and, and I don't know why I didn't do it 10 years ago, you know. Yeah, hmm. but I think part of that is confidence in your own um, ability, confidence hmm. to know that the next deal is going to come through. You know, there's a whole range. I think that's maturity mm. as well along the way that it's like, well, you know what, does it matter if I need to take a three hours every Wednesday? Because I'm, you know, that, that comes back to it's not taking time off. It's just reallocating the 24 hours in, in your day. that you. Well, have. that's right. Yeah. I mean, I can work in the evening if I need to, or I can, you know, get up early or, or work on a Saturday if I need to. Hopefully yep, I don't. Yep, but yes, yep. that's right. It's just a rejigging of your kind of priorities and your allocation of time throughout the week. And stop, and this is a really interesting one because everyone's, oh, I don't have time. Everyone has 24 hours in a day. Yeah. Well, the, the quote I like is that they say you've, you've got the same amount of hours in the day as Beyonce. Yes. <laughs> so if, if Beyonce can do it, you can do it. That's, that's, that's Absolutely. my Absolutely. And then this is where it comes back to when yeah. people start to look at it. It's sort yeah. of how are you allocating your time? So therefore yeah. don't do it. Don't work out what's important to you. Yeah. Don't wait for stuff to people to put things on your list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just being a slave to your emails or whatever. Whatever yeah. it is, it's like, no, yeah. no, these are the things I want to achieve for today or this week yeah. and the rest of the stuff. They're, they're, yes, I know they're on, on a list and someone wants me to do it, but it's not important to me, so therefore I need mm. to do that, which is I think that becomes a really tough that's a really tough position sometimes because you've got to have the strength to be able to say no to someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that well. is a really hard thing because every time you say yes, yeah, you, you've got to say no, you know, 50 other times. Yeah, yeah, that's There's interesting. There'd be a bloody good reason to say yeah. yes. Yeah, a, a, a colleague of mine said, which I quite like the idea, they said you've got to have a – and it wasn't – it might have been you <laughs> – I think it was good. Let's see what you say, you. and then we'll, yeah. I'll, I'll claim it or I'll see, I think it was, myself from it. You've got to have a to do list, nothing wrong with that, but you also got to have a to not do list. Correct. You, did you tell me that? Yep, I think yep, it was yep, you. Yep, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah I'll put a message out about that. What's your not to do list? So write the stuff down. I'm not doing that. 
Yeah. So therefore, and this is where it comes across to your own business as well. What's the yeah. stuff that I'm really good at and what's the stuff that needs to be done, but I'm not really good at doing. Yeah. So it comes back to the really interesting book also that's out that's, you yeah. know, it's who, not how. Who can help me do the uh-huh. stuff? I don't need yeah. to know how to do it, but yeah. who can help me do it? Yeah, and that's right. where it comes actually. That's where you end up narrowing down and go, really good use of my time is yeah. this. Now, yeah. part of that time away, maybe having a break to let that your mind yes. think. Yes. So I, can't, I don't know. I cannot remember the name of this person, but, but their point was, um, you know, they said, well, they pay me to think. And I would walk right. into the office and this bloke would have his feet up on the desk and um, – thinking away. You know, yeah, it's like – Wow, like really? But he came up with some invention that made hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, this is what we're paying him for. Right. Just, well, you don't need to be looking busy and running around yeah. frantically the whole time to be productive. Yeah. That's well, not being productive. You, you need, you, sometimes you do need to switch off and go, you know what, I just need to go out for a walk. I need to go to lunch for two hours because the discussion that you might have had an idea in your head that you float past your old man. Yeah. And he then says, ah, oh, what about this? Because it's yeah. a completely fresh set of eyes and ears on yeah. your on your issue that like, oh my God, and it just bang, the light goes off. Yeah. Purely because you've allocated some time to talk to someone and to spend some time with someone who is completely removed from what you're yeah. actually thinking about. But they come up with a completely fresh set of ideas. Yeah, well, can I, I can give you an example of that, and it was from from spending time with with Dad. We're on holidays together, and uh, I was saying something about you know being very busy because I you know hired more team members, and he said you know and it, it's simple but wise. He said, "Well, the more people who work for you, the less work you should do." And I Correct. said, "What?" <laughs> you know, I was the total opposite in my assumptions. Mm-hmm. I, I, sort of the more people I've got, the more people I need to look after, the more people I need to mentor, the more you know problems I need to solve, all of that. And, you know, of course, that's, that's, you're on a hiding to nothing then because the more people you hire, the bigger your business gets, the more you're closer you are to having a heart attack when you're 50. And, and we all know that that's something that, that seems to be going around at the moment. Correct, correct. You know, so, so and it really it hit me like a ton of bricks. It's just a great idea that I, and, I, and I, it, it was the beginning of me really putting in place systems and processes so that, so that, um, that the team would manage each other. You know what I mean? Or manage the business themselves. And hopefully I could just do the high value things that I liked and that I was good at and stop meddling in everyone's affairs. Yep. <laughs> you know? So if we go back to the to the sort of the topic yeah. of the importance of taking time off, what yeah. what do you encourage with your team? And I know you've sort of said in the past, the last couple of years it's been a bit hard, but yeah. how do you encourage your your team to to put their hand up to say, I actually want to take Two weeks off, off, or yeah. I need to take some time off, or, or people to come comfortable to you to say, "Look, I'm just I'm not coping at the moment. I actually need, you know, even just yeah. a day off." To, to well, re-play. what I've noticed, and I'm not sure if this is, you know, representative of everyone, but they all seem to have a different dynamic of how they like to take time off. So some, you know, like to take long holidays and some like to take lots of short ones. You know, would rather go to the beach, have that long weekend, if you like, a few times than than go off, you know, to Europe or whatever. And so, and, and, you know, some they want to go and spend time with their husband or wife and others want to go and do their own thing or whatever it is. And I guess all we do is try and encourage um, people to do the thing that, that, that they find, you know, recharges their batteries. Because, oh, you know, I don't, I would, I would pack everyone off to Europe for a month because that's probably what works for me the best. Yep. But that's not, you know, we've got someone who maybe doesn't want to go overseas, you know, likes yep. Australia or, or, or likes long weekends or, or whatever, um, likes time on the beach, you know, as opposed to time, you know, um, uh, travelling around or whatever. Um, so we just try and get people to do what it is that they like to do. Yeah, it's because it also comes back to the time of the year. Some people love to go to the cold weather to ski yeah. versus, you know, the hot weather. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So so everyone has their own kind of dynamic of what they want and, you know, you can't sort of force it on them. You've got to let them do their thing or at least that's my thinking anyway. I, I don't know if that's working or not working. Is, is that what you find or...? Yeah, I just think. I mean, we tend to have people that are working with us that are that are you know fa- have families. So where our challenge is always around um, school holidays. School holidays. Yeah, you know, and and that and trying to work through that. But also from a client base, you know, that's a lot of people are also taking time off with their 
family yeah. at the same time. So it kind yeah. of, you know, we, we, we manage, but it's probably always a bit of a challenge. Um, yeah. You know, there's never a perfect time, but then sometimes, you know, if a few of us are away, then sometimes mm-hmm. I've got to pick up some stuff. Yeah. When we're on holidays. And, but sometimes that can just be, you know, a couple of hours or an hour in the morning and then I'm done for the rest of the day. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I understand. Yeah, Not I mean, ideal, I'm, but you yeah. know what? You own the business. There's certain things. Sometimes you just got to do it and, and it's yeah. not, I mean, it's not really seen as a chore. It's just like, yeah. no, no, no problem. I'll just redirect a bit of traffic and, yeah, um, well, and I'm, I'm done for the day. Yeah, and, that, and that's relevant to the the topic, which is you know switching off, taking holidays. I know when I did this this month in Europe that I'm talking about, I actually every morning I got up at you know six or whatever an hour earlier than I normally would, and checked and spent an hour on the emails, you know, doing stuff, and then closed the computer, and that was it for the day. Yep. And I was perfectly happy to do that, and I still felt switched off. It didn't stress yep. me out. I, I mean, I I was you know in Europe, so I was then walking out into you know Paris or wherever. Yeah. So you know that was pretty good, and and to have to to be able to do that still own the business and and uh, and only spend one hour every morning and it helped the team a lot because then whatever I sent out you know they could I think they were sending me stuff and it might have been the mid afternoon when I was answering you know so they could send me stuff during the day and I could check it and they could have it before the yeah, end right. of the day yep, yep. so it sort of worked well um, that said I mean I think it's important to also have time off if you can where you where you you know incommunicado where your your phone's in the cupboard or whatever yeah 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 which is going to be in some respects where you know we're almost at Easter. Yeah, 2022, and so that'll be, you know, Good Friday and Easter Monday. They're they're yeah. just like, bang, they're, they're yeah. a solid four days of, yeah. You can almost switch your phone off and not even worry about. Yeah, it. well, and, and thankfully, generally, I know our, our clients and yours are the same. We sort of tend to have the same sort of holiday schedule that we do, yep. so yep. It, it isn't so bad. It sort of yep. depends on the business, though. We've got plenty of clients who, you know, they're manufacturing stuff that still needs to be manufactured. Yeah, yeah and it's always yeah. there's no real shutdown. They just yeah, they exactly. Yeah, 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 they've got three shifts who just keep going. You know. Yeah, yeah. So all right. Well, is there anything else you want to add? I just think you know, for us, it's the, you know, I think we've picked it up that there is an importance of, of <laughs> dedicating time to blocking out where you have some downtime yeah. and away yeah. from your business. And, and yeah. I think it re- rejuvenates everyone. Yeah. Yeah. All I'd say, I suppose, is that you want, you, you know, to encourage your team to take time off in a way that suits them and yep. that they feel feel they can and, and, you know, put processes in place so that there's they can share the workload while they're while they're gone, you know, yep. and that's and then same with the with the 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 owner themselves being able to take some time off and and doing that. I think that's all good training to run a well, you know, run your business well. If your business yep. is run well, people should be able to do that. If they can't, that means the business is not run well, and yep. so you've got to, you know, that's a bigger problem that you should be addressing. Yeah, it's a good litmus really. test for yourself. Absolutely, yeah, yep. that's right. Yep. If you can take time away from your business, um, then then that's good for you and good for the business. And if you can't, then you need to think. Well, why can't I and what changes can I make to, yep. to address that? Yep. Okay. Magnificent. Well, solid again, Alex. Thanks, you Dave. Get ready for, you get ready for that holiday. Just give yourself a bit of a break. Yeah. yeah. Grow yeah, the hair long the and take so it. I, I never need to work in it. Yeah, yeah true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, we'll see yeah. you next time. All right. Thanks, Thanks Dave. everyone. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Bye.